Hi, my name is Mike Bailey. I'm Motorhead on RC Groups. Wanted to put together a short little video on the construction of one of Leadfeather's Yak 55 pre cut kits. It's a fantastic little flyer, lightweight. We're coming in under 5 ounces, uh, 34 inch span, uh, plenty of lift and very maneuverable. This is the finished product here. What I've got laid out on the table is the pre cut kit. As I've supplied to uh, those that are interested, you have an upper and a lower fuselage, a vertical, the forward horizontal fuselage, the main part of the wing, two ailerons, the aft horizontal part of the fuselage, the horizontal tail, and the elevator. I'm not going to actually glue anything together here to save time, uh, but I'm going to go through the basic steps on how this goes together. The main glue that we're using to uh, build, put these together is welders. It's a contact cement. Uh, it's available at Lowe's, either in red tube or silver. Uh, it's pretty much the same stuff though. As the kit comes, uh, everything's pre-cut as far as what I supply. Uh, the slot for the push rod is already put into the wing. Uh, the first step would be to take the push rod itself, or the, the spar itself, 8th inch carbon tube, lay it down in the slot. Uh, I supply them about an inch long, so they just need to be marked and cut off with a Dremel tool. I personally use welders to put the spar into the slot. Uh, put a little bead into the slot, put the tube in, spin it around, then do the same with the other side, spin it around, let it dry for about a minute, and then press it down into the slot. You don't want it to dry all the way because it is contact cement, it won't let you push it down, you, so you still want it a little bit wet when you push it in, uh, but then it'll stay in and it only needs to sit just three or four minutes and then it's set up pretty good. Uh, you will want to have a nice flat surface when you push that down so you don't get any twist or bend into your wing. Once you're done with that, you'll want to bevel the control surfaces. What we've been doing on these is we'll bevel the bottom side of the wing. We'll do all, both the trailing edge of the wing and then the leading edge of the aileron, about 45 degrees each. That allows you to get a really uh, high deflection on your control surface without the foam getting too thin and floppy in the middle. To cut the foam, what I typically do will lay a straight edge down on my desk. I'll lay the foam down on the straight edge, but I'll push the foam back maybe about a sixteenth of an inch and then just using one of the little snap-off blade knives I will take and with a sawing motion cut that hinge line. Same for the wing. Set it in, cut across there and then the horizontal also, both the trailing edge of the horizontal and the leading edge of the elevator. For the rudder I do a little bit different. I'll take a pin and mark the center line of the rudder for reference and then set it on here and then cut a 45 degree bevel on both sides so that it's a v-shape here. Some people have also gone back and added it onto the trailing edge of the fuselage, but I find that 45 degrees is all that we've allowed for in the uh, elevator and so that you don't have to do both sides on it. Once those are all hinged, you can go ahead and uh, glue hinge your elevator ailerons and your rudder. To do that, what I'll do is take a little bit of welders, put it along the sharp edge that you created when you cut that, put a little bit of welders on there, and then I'll just take my finger and rub it both on the top side and the bottom side, and just get maybe an eighth inch or so coverage of the welders glue uh, on the surface, kind of both sides, top and bottom, along that edge. Do the same on the aileron, do the same on both sides of the elevator. 
on the rudder what you'll do is just the top side here and then on the, the fuselage just the upper side. We'll, we'll pre-attach those but we're going to wait on the bottom side of the fuselage until we attach the, fus the vertical fuselage to the horizontal fuselage. For now I'm just going to tape those in place to simulate this being hinged. <laughs> 